But first tonight, a Metro Detroit church is vandalized and covered in racist graffiti. Now the hunt begins to find those behind the attack. Thank you so much for joining us for Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. It happened over the weekend at Greater New Life Church in Roseville. Police are offering a $1,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham is in Roseville tonight with the latest on the investigation. Roseville's police chief calls what happened here at Greater New Life a senseless act of destruction. The pastor tells me he doesn't know why his church was singled out, but he believes he knows the root cause. It's the enemy. It's the enemy. I guess people have so much evil in them that I, I think um, they just let Satan use them to do all these ungodly deeds. Pastor Daryl Moore says he came to church Sunday morning learning someone spray painted neo-Nazi symbols on the building. He founded Greater New Life Church of God in Christ in Roseville 11 years ago on Blair Street. It's now marked up with at least 11 swastikas, the word die and the letters JDS. It's just ungrateful that somebody had the nerves to do something like that. Danny Ferguson over at Lawn Senior Apartments just down the street says he alerted the pastor. Ferguson is one of several people in this neighborhood speaking highly of the pastor and the work done by the church. He helps out the entire community over here. He feeds us. He does everything for us. He hands out food for the holidays, turkeys. Um, he walks, he invites people over to his church. He has giveaways. I don't know, I thought we were past this. Now neighbors are vowing to roll up their sleeves. We're gonna help fix this church up as much as we can. I also spoke with Police Chief Ryan Monroe. He says detectives are looking to see if anyone in the area has security cameras that may have spotted anything related to the crime. Pastor Moore says this is a black church in a diverse neighborhood where everyone knows what the church is all about and the good it does in the community. So who did this and why puzzles him. But he hopes whoever it is not only turns themselves in, but turns their life around. And then invite Jesus into their heart. Uh, I think they'll be, a, they'll be a, a much happier person. Late this afternoon, the Council on American Islamic Relations announced they are offering a $1,000 reward for information on the case. They also say that they are calling on state and federal authorities to investigate the possible bias motive. If you have any information, call Roseville PD. In Roseville, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Darren.